Hello, this is Israel with SCS Parts, and our website is scsparts.us, or you can visit our YouTube channel. Today, um, we're going to use a 3 in 1 to replace a, or to remove the glass on an iPhone 6. This is an iPhone 6 original, and we're going to start by, it, it actually has a protective screen. We're going to take it off so you don't, um, so you see how it would be with just a regular screen. Um, First step, we're going to remove that uh, plastic frame. Um, we want to remove that plastic frame so we can fit our wire through it and remove that uh, glass from the LCD. So It's set up at 80 degrees. I'm going to leave it there for probably two minutes. And um, I'm just going to be testing to see when it's soft enough for me to remove that, uh, that plastic frame. <clears throat> the iPhone 6 screens or any iPhone screen, uh, they have a back, backlight to it. Um, so we're not going to be able to soak it in um, as we did with the S4 or as, or as you would do with a Galaxy screen. Those Galaxy screens don't have a backlight so um, you can soak it in and nothing will get on the way or it will get in between um, that screen. In this case we do have it and um, I'll show you one. This is a um, iPhone 5 screen, and um, you can remove that backlight. And uh, you have your LCD on one side, you have the backlight. Backlight has three points of solder on that back, and um, that is why we do not, we want to be very careful when we use uh, loca glue or we don't soak them in soak them in as we would on the galaxies besides uh, the glue on that um, iPhone 6 for that frame it's a lot easier to remove than um, removing the galaxy frame we're gonna see if it's soft enough you can start breaking these you see that bottom is basically broken so I'm just going to go ahead and remove that. Alright, um, since I'm going to go from the bottom to the top, um, I'm not very concerned about that top frame coming out. It's going to come up with that, um, with that glass anyways. I just want to make sure that the sides are completely clear for me to run that wire. heat up that part just a tiny bit more all right so let's see if uh, that little part can come out now it's still pretty stuck there I don't want to uh, mess up that LCD that's why I'm being very very careful around that Let's see if we can get a spudger right there in between. All right, so we'll just need to be more patient and get that off. Let's go ahead and do it. I think I can get that wire close enough where my glass will actually come off. Um, make sure that uh, the holes are aligned with your silicone tab make sure your LCD is clean um, that way it would be even and um, the vacuum would actually work on it and I'm gonna leave it um, there for a few minutes before I start with the wire I also like to make sure that there's no glass um, covering that and um, ideally you have that bottom glass to um, work as a guide for you for that wire but um, we'll just make sure that uh, we're not getting under that uh, digitizer as you can see here some of that um, glass got in under the backlight so I'm just trying to get it off
Great, so we're going to use this wire. Um, make sure there's no loops on the wire before you start. And um, let's see. This wire, whoop, it's 0.1 millimeters, and um, it is, you can find it on our website, stsparts.us. See, that is a loop. If I were to pull that, I would break my wire. So let's make sure there's not loops there. And let's turn on that pump right there. Um, we have to make sure that there's no glass in between, otherwise, um, that vacuum won't seal your screen and it will be moving everywhere. Make sure there's no glass. Make sure there's no loose glass on top of that um, screen. There we go. Airtight, it cannot move it. It's good to go. Um, I'm going to get ready my wire, make sure there's no knots in that wire. And the key to this is to see where you're going to start. Again, it's ideal when you have that bottom glass and it will kind of guide you through it. If not, then um, it just makes it a little harder. But uh, there we go. This is original glue. Just an original LCD. We're just removing the glass. Oop. This wire is really good. I really give a lot of credit to it just because I've used other kind of wire and uh, we finally get, found a really good supplier for it and it's really strong you can order that on our website as well here make sure you don't go all the way to the top so you don't mess with the flexes um, and what I do I usually go back and forth until that LCD is completely loose I don't pull it out because what would happen is that that LCD bends and it will break so That LCD is pretty good. Right, let me see if I can pull it out now. I'm going to turn that pump off. Put this aside. And <clears throat> that is our glass right there so you can see mostly one piece everything came out pretty good and next step is I'm gonna go ahead and clean this LCD um, since we do have more uh, since we do have a lot of OCA on it um, what I will do is I'm gonna use this cleaner right here um, you can also buy this on our website um, you might have uh, you might have, you may have one already. You can try. This one is really powerful and evaporates really quickly, so that's why we use it here. Um, you don't want to use a lot on it because it would go under that um, backlight. But uh, when you do, you have to use it pretty quick. This is just a plastic razor and it works fine. Something that you do want to be careful when you're cleaning that LCD, you want to have a flat surface um, under so you're not bending that LCD and um, breaking it. That is OCA right there. Make sure that once you um, put your blade down, you're not lifting it. That way, if there's any glass on that LCD for any reason, you're not going to be dragging it, scratching your polarizer. Okay, 
right now just worry about getting most of it out and then at the end we'll we'll wipe we'll wipe it and make sure that it's completely clean I usually always go in the middle that way I'm not uh, risking my my cleaner going in between that polar in between that uh, backlight Okay, uh, most of that OCA is gone, so I'm just going to use a cloth now to clean that. You do want to make sure that you're using a cloth that does not have glass on it. Otherwise, again, you will damage that polarizer, and it is not fun to replace that. We would have to clean this LCD again. Um, once we before we bond it with glass with the uh, glass and LCA all right well here is basically our iPhone 6 LCD completely clean and um, again we'll have to clean it one more time before uh, we bond it with OCA and glass but um, that is it